Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Cabal is now in Mortal Kombat Onslaught. That's going to make a lot of fans really happy. He's a very popular character. We're going to get into the Chronicle Story Mode soon, but first of all, we want to take a look at his kit, see what he's all about, try and understand who he's going to synergize best with and how we can make the most out of this character. Now, he is a range support character. Now, for his first auto ability, he shoots a plasma blast, dealing damage, and also applies a tenacity debuff for a duration. Then he follows it up with another attack, dealing more damage and applying poison for a duration. Now, if you don't know what tenacity is, it's your ability to resist the effects of things like poison, burn, bleed, all those types of things. So having that tenacity debuff means that this poison effect is more likely to be applied to the enemy. There's also a footnote here for each living classic teammate, the tenacity debuff duration increases. Now we'll come back to that at the end and have a look at the classic teammates that he could work well with. But this is a theme throughout his kit, so something that we will go into a little bit later on. For his second auto ability, Cabal fires a saw blade at his foe, dealing damage and inflicting suffering for a duration. Now, suffering will add an extra 15% damage to all damage over time effects. So things like poison and bleed, they're going to be very good to put on your opponent that is inflicted with suffering because it's just going to do a whole lot more damage. Now, I did a video on a bleed team not so long ago. I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can check that out. Cabal would be perfect to fit in with that team, possibly in place of Eren Black, but I'm already starting to see some really good uses for him. Now, moving on to his passive ability, and this is another really good addition to his kit. For every living classic teammate, the tenacity debuff and suffering effects from Cabal's abilities stack an additional time after they're first applied. In addition to that, Cabal and any classic teammates can stack any damage over time effects a certain number of times. Now again, when you're talking about bleed and poison and burn and all of those kinds of things, if you're stacking them multiple times on your opponent, you're going to cut them down so quickly. And even characters like Undying Shao Kahn, who are some of the best defensive characters in the game, aren't going to be able to do anything about this. And for his special ability, he'll apply a tenacity debuff again to his target, then comes back with three hits dealing more damage. Now, if you don't think that's quite exciting enough, when you have a look at his combo meter, if you can get a duplicate of him, when you get to level one, all of these get added to his special ability. You'll get an extra hit dealing more damage and applying a critical chance decrease to that foe for a duration and a chance to apply knock up. If you are successful at knocking them up in the air, Cabal jump kicks them and fires a Plasma Blast dealing extra damage. And for every classic teammate that he has still alive, the crit chance decrease percentage and duration increases. Now, if you are lucky or rich enough to get him up to level three of his combo meter, you'll get an extra passive ability for any of Cabal's teammates when they are knocked out, they release a cloud of poison in an area of effect. Now, I'm actually pretty impressed with his kit. They've put a lot of thought into it, especially being a fan favorite. You want to make sure that he's someone that people are going to want to use. Now, if you are thinking about the gear that you want to put on him, one thing that I would advise is looking at a mastery set. If you don't have a good mastery set, at least try and get some primary and secondary mastery stats on the gear that you do put on him. Mastery is going to help make sure that you are applying all of those debuffs. Even though he does reduce their tenacity, 
you are going to need a better mastery skill to make sure that you do apply that debuff in the first place, so it is important to have in his gear. You also want to probably run an attack set. You just want to make sure that you're getting as much damage out of him as possible. In regards to his classic teammates, I've had a look through my roster and I cannot see a classic tag for anyone that I have unlocked. So I'm not sure if it's a tag that they will be adding to other characters in time or if we just haven't seen the other characters entered into the game yet that he's going to work best with. For the time being, I would probably suggest using him alongside Kano because Kano does have effects on Black Dragon teammates and he's got a whole kit full of goodies that's really going to help Cabal shine. So that's one person that I would probably be putting in a team with him if you want to try and add a bit of synergy to the team. Let's move on to his event store and the first thing that you're going to see are the relics that are there. If you do unlock Cabal, you might want to consider saving up your tokens to unlock the first relic there, the Sundu Hearthstone. It's going to allow for mass healing as well, just as your team collectively drops below 30% health, as well as a few other bonuses that he's going to get a lot out of. Otherwise, the Dimensional Portal is still a pretty decent relic for him. It's going to add some mastery there as well, helping him apply those debuffs. But if you are a new player, free to play, you're still developing your roster, there are a few other things that you might want to consider. The Master Orbs that you can see there for 5,000 tokens, you can get up to 90 of these tokens added to your collection. What I would be doing is trying to save up as many of these as you possibly can. You save up 800, you'll be able to unlock the 5 star character of your choice when these events come around. If you're still looking to boost some of those characters up to those higher levels, definitely consider the Fighter XP. You can get 8 lots of 4500 XP, as well as the Green Books. You can get 2,000 green books out of this as well, which is really going to help some of those upgrades on your abilities that are very, very important. You've also got some purple crit damage gear there, something that you might want to consider. Even if not for Cabal, there are plenty of characters that are going to benefit from that crit damage. So now let's have a look at some gameplay. Now this is the first difficulty of this event, so you're going to fly through this pretty quickly. Even with weak characters, it's not a problem. As you can see, I'm going through these battles faster than I can actually charge up my special meter. But one thing on that that I am picking up straight away with Cabal is that he is quite slow at building up that special meter. So rather than the attack set, what you might want to do is use a haste set because you want to get to that special move as fast as you can. Haste can be a tricky stat to come across as your primary stat on gear. You can get it out there if you do have some other gear sets that you'd prefer to use and you do have haste as a primary stat. That might be good enough to use because it will bump up as you upgrade the gear. Overall, I think he's a pretty solid character. If you do have those orbs saved up, feel free to use them on him, especially if he is one of your favorite characters. I don't think he's the best character that we're going to have in the game. There are already some that I think are, are much better than him. Maybe it's worth holding on to those orbs for a little bit longer. See who else comes into the game next. Maybe they will be a better option. Because the one thing that does worry me about him is because most of his kit is dependent on having those other classic characters in, in the team with him. There aren't any in the game that I can see at the moment, so that is going to take away a lot from his kit. Until we get those other characters, it will slow him down just a little bit, but he is a pretty decent character if you can get him. He's well worth putting those resources into, but that's about it for this one, guys. If you do want to support the channel, a super thanks would be really appreciated. Other than that, like and sub, you know the deal. 
we got plenty more Mortal Kombat Onslaught coming your way. Don't miss out, and we'll catch you in the next one.